day we gold-plated the Mishkan, were you as nauseated as I? Didn't you remember where we got the gold? Didn't you remember we had to soak the gold in warm water to remove the stains of blood spilled by the Egyptians when we ripped the gold from their bodies? Sure, it was really our gold. Sure, a worker has more of a rightful claim to the fruits of her labor than the master who owns her. It's not that I was against us taking the gold. I think workers should take back as much gold as they need. But whether a house is for us to dwell in or for God to dwell in us, does it not disturb you to build that house out of booty and baggage? See, that gold, the gold with which we adorned the tabernacle, it was the same gold used for the shin on the mezuzah some German ripped off my granny's doorpost in Bonn in 38, claiming her house as his birthright. And that was the same gold used for the shin on the mezuzah some German put up on someone else's granny's doorpost in Jerusalem in 48, claiming her house as his birthright. If these walls could talk, would you listen? If they sat on the floor and whimpered out their separation anxiety, ah, 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 would you shoot tear gas at them too? After all, our walls in Israel, are they not the same ones we brought with us from Poland? If you think you can keep stealing horcruxes from other pirates to make yourself feel whole, you're right, but only for a moment. After that, bathing in a river, in a river of blood starts to feel eerie. Listen, dog. If you think that just because the cat ate the goat my father bought for two zuzim, that therefore you can bite the cat, you're right. I have no doubt you'll find an action to justify your desired reaction. But will reacting really make anyone feel better? Said Ursula Le Guin in The Dispossessed, we each of us deserve everything every luxury that was ever piled in the tombs of the dead kings, and we, each of us, deserve nothing, not a mouthful of bread in hunger. Have we not eaten while another starved? Will you punish us for that? Will you reward us for the virtue of starving while others ate? No man earns punishment. No man earns reward. Free your mind of the idea of deserving, the idea of earning, and you will begin to be able to think.